Hey everyone, before we get started, I just want to give you the update I said I would on the MGC 7x7. This has become my new main 7x7, it's great and I've set all my new PBs with it. Big cubes take a little while to break in, but after tightening it so it didn't pop anymore, I realized that the inner layers are actually much faster than the spark. The outer layers are pretty similar, and pretty much the only downside to this is that the spark is about one millimeter smaller, which I like more, but that's pretty much the only better thing about the spark. This is also much cheaper, so I highly recommend it. And with that out of the way, let's take a look at the GAN 11M Pro. You guys know how I feel about cube names like this, I'm just gonna call it the GAN 11. $5 for a beginner tutorial, or you can learn for free. This is the accessory box, we'll look at this later, and this is the cube box. Oh wait, GAN logos. Ah, there we go. Thank you, Cameron. So this is not a new cube, this is the one Cameron sent to me because the GAN 11 Pro, the GAN 11s are still on pre-order, so I don't get one, I guess, but Cameron sent me his. All right, let's try this out. So far, it feels very similar to the GAN XS, and it feels a little bit lighter. This cube in particular may be a little bit faster and easier to turn than this GAN XS, which is on the exact same settings, and I'll explain that later. But sometimes the cube being lighter can make it feel easier to turn, so I'm not sure if this cube is actually faster. One thing that's probably different is the corner cutting feels a little bit different, and very hard to describe, but this one feels more like it's like a rounder corner cut, which is a good thing, as in maybe it's just corner cutting better. So let's actually check out the corner cutting here. So 45 degrees, of course, and let's go a little bit more. So line to line right here. Still goes, but is more difficult. Um, that was strange. And let's go reverse corner cutting. So it should go at least this much. Oh, that, that was pretty easy. Let's go further. <laughs> Hang on, further. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? This is almost line to line. Wow. Okay, so it's like most cubes right before line to line, like right here. Um, they don't really wanna do anything, but yeah, this amount of corner cutting is actually crazy. Of course, you're not gonna cut this much this accurately during solves, but because it can do that, it makes the smaller corner cuts, can't believe I'm calling this a small corner cut, but it makes this one a lot more effortless, as you can tell from the sound. I'll probably have to play around with the settings of this to see what I like more, as since it's supposed to be different from the XS, I will probably have to find a different setting that I like and not just choose the same one. And let's take a look at how that works now. So there's no changeable edge magnet here anymore, but there is the one on the corner. I don't think this is showing up on camera, but there's a little one, two, three right here that goes from left to right. So I think that means the weakest magnet is one, which is over here, and the strongest magnet would be on three. This is. This is actually very difficult. Maybe this is not meant to be done with your finger. Maybe there's a little tool for it. Since it feels really similar to the XS, I wanna actually see what the pieces look like. The first thing I noticed, which is crazy, this is a magnet at the tip of the corner, which attaches to this part in the core. I don't think we've seen anything like this before. The Volk Elite had um, magnets in the centers, which attached to the, to the edges, which was a little bit different, and this is another different thing we're seeing. Just from turning, I didn't feel like the magnets were any different, although I may start paying attention to it now. Um, so this, I don't know why they would do this, but I guess they're just trying it out. Okay, now I see why the magnet adjustment system is like this. If you change one on the corner, it actually changes all of the ones on the same corner, and that means you only have to do eight adjustments rather than for 12 edges. But the way it was designed on the XS is if you change one magnet on one edge, you can actually change the other magnet differently. So they're separate, and that means you have to do 24 adjustments. So this is actually really good. Also, the fact that these are hard to move could be inconvenient, but also might just be a good thing because once you find the setting you want, you don't want it accidentally changing as you solve, which I have experience with the XS. Now the way the pieces are designed on the XS, it's kind of like there's two tracks here on the corner that one of them sits inside the edge piece and the other one still rubs along it. And on the GAN 11, it's pretty much just one flat surface on the corner that sits with the edge. So they did change the piece design, but I don't know how much of a difference this makes considering that the main component of the piece on the outside looks 
pretty similar. And of course there is the difference that the internals now are primary instead of black, and primary is just like this translucent white color, which is not actually the same as white, it's just uh, the color of plastic before it's been dyed. So the piece design isn't so different from the GAN XS where I really feel it's that different when I turn, but I think the magnet system on the corner, and especially the fact that this likely won't change on its own, will be a big improvement. Then inside the core, here's the centerpiece travel and the spring compression. I talked about this in the GAN XS video, so this looks the same and I won't talk about it again here, but I will explain it in the review for anyone who's wondering. But basically this gives you a ton of control over how your cube feels, whether it's speed or corner cutting. I'm generally not a big fan of cubes with primary internals, but I don't know if that's because of the primary internals or just because the ones that had it happened to not be very good cubes. And I was actually considering, instead of making a first impressions, just making a review on this cube, but then I actually can't because there's going to be more versions, including one that has black internals. But the thing with the options is it's kind of weird. So there's different options for the plastic as well. If you choose frosted plastic, you can get black or primary internals. There's also two more types of plastics and that's for how the outer surface feels. There's also UV coated and soft, and I don't know what these feel like as I don't think there have been other cubes that had these. All right, let's take a look at what's in the accessory box. We have something. Um, this is probably explaining how a lot of their customization systems work. And a bag. Oh, this screwdriver looks like just the right size, maybe, to change the corner magnets. Okay, let's finally get this guy back to the middle. Oh, that was easy. Actually, I just realized the screwdriver had to be for the magnets because there's nothing screwdriver related inside the core. Hope you can read Chinese. I've already made that joke before I just realized. Oh, there's something you can do with the corner magnets. Advanced adjustment? You can change the magnets that go inside the corner, but there's already an adjustment. Oh, right, right, okay. Ugh, gotta take this out now. So the thing, I, that's wrong. So the thing I was changing over here is the little corner magnet right here, but not the corner magnet that extends into the core. So the one at the side here will affect how it interacts with the edge, but the one inside the core, you can actually change that one too. So let's actually try that out right now. So I assume that's what this box is for. Okay, so we have this stuff, of course, this is for like the stuff under the center cap. And then these little capsules are for the corner magnets. I just have to turn this counterclockwise, then I can take it out. And then I'll put this one inside and turn it clockwise. All right, that's great. That's actually, it's actually like shape coded. There's a triangle and there's a hexagon. So I'm gonna have a lot of settings ahead of me to test and I'll make a full review on this cube once it's fully out, which includes all of the plastic surface options and black or primary internals. Overall, I think this cube will be really good. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.